Last book. Art of Gary Gianni, George R. R. Martin, Seven Kingdoms from 2019. Hardcover. This thing is 300 something pages. I think it's 304. Yep, 304. <laughs> Alright, so here is the back. Hop on your TV to check this bitch out. I'm gonna go run it cover to cover. And when I went through this the first time, I was very surprised and very happy. So this contains stuff from Song of Ice and Fire, so that's cool. And other books as well. Uh, there's a table of contents, this is what it contains. So, do I love Game of Thrones? You could say that, I do. <laughs> I'm currently catching up on House of the Dragon because I am weeks behind. <laughs> yeah, catching up slow, truly. Skipping over a lot of text because that's too much time wasted. All right, drawings from Ice and fire, fire and blood. So this is how they work. You get an excerpt from the chapter, the uh, book name, chapter, and who it is. And that's always at the bottom. But yeah, this goes fast, which is so nice. <laughs> but I gotta say, I wasn't expecting black and white. I was expecting color stuff. But honestly, the sketches are fucking gorgeous. I mean, seriously, I'm really impressed. Like, Gary's work is really good. And I'm very impressed by his flow, his approach to it. When I read this, I was actually thinking about Donato Giancarlo's uh, work on Middle Earth. That was a good book, too. But this is just outstanding. Right. Have I read any of the Game of Thrones books? Fuck no. I don't have time for that jazz. <laughs> It's all the show. I'm good. <laughs> There's some color sketches in here. What I'm really impressed with is how accurate, like, going back in time to, you know, the, comparing this to the show, they cast good. They really did. Yeah, there's a lot of them small, and then, boof, two-page spreads. So, they are spread throughout. Here comes another one. And another one. Squadoosh. But, yeah, they did good. But just the amount of detail here is beautiful. Do I want this book? Nah. Was it awesome to go through? Oh, definitely. Oh my god, yes. So good to go through. Do I feel that they didn't need to have multiple shots? Oh, definitely. That like kind of just eats up page time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Gary did good work. <laughs> very, very good work. So if you enjoy Gary and you enjoy Game of Thrones, you're going to have a great time going through this book. If you hate it, no, no, you're not going to have a good time. You're going to absolutely 
I want to burn this book and cry about it. If you're an art snob and you're expanding your art category, pick this book up. I do love his style though. It's really amazing and unique. I love that. It's so unique. And of course you can trace his stuff back to other artists as well, but yeah, at least it's his style that he has. And that's a beautiful thing. Ah, come on. And there's also chapter excerpts as well. I mentioned that, but there's a little more than that. They're all planning to get some popcorn. Yeah. See, that's how bobbing for Apple started. And she was the judge for it. And he's just like, man, you should have just kept the damn Apple. <laughs> oh, my. Do I want to get more Game of Thrones art books? Yeah, I got the main one right beside the bed to go through yet. And that's going to be a behemoth to cover. That book is 432 pages. <laughs> oh, Christ. My poor hand's going to hurt. No. But I'm grateful for art books like this, because this goes so fast. Hey, a spider. Nah, seriously, that's, um... Yeah, that's from episode 9 of House of the Dragon. Huh. Okay. It does have significance. Okay, cool. <laughs> I write everything down. <laughs> oh, good. And I'll have my review for House of the Dragon this week sometime, so be on the lookout. Oh, it is a house. Okay. Cool. That's pretty neat. That's, um... Oh, there's one of that for Kylo. I know it has an original root, though, but I can't think of what it is. I think Icarus symbolism. Maybe. I don't know. What can I see in his art? Definitely Western aesthetics. Cowboys and shit. Um, definitely a lot of 30s work, too. Yeah. I just, I love his detailing. Like, his detail is nuts. And what's even more baffling is how accurate the characters look. Fucking ty uh, Tyrion. Look at that. That's the sketch. And then you look at um, Peter Dinklage. It's a perfect match. That's amazing. <coughs> oh, man. Dragon. We're getting there. I know it's a long book. Fuck. But it is pretty. What else? Who do I like in Game of Thrones universe the most? I would say right now Rhaenyra, Danny, Tyrion. Uh, Viserys, the first. Westerling, the dragons, Corlys. Um, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them I like. 
one one. Oh yeah. Titties. Yeah. I mean, Gary's work is something that you would find on the cover of a romance novel. And I don't mean that as like a jab or anything. I'm just like, it's that kind of style. Like if it was completely colorized and everything, you'd find it on a romance novel, an adventure novel, even um, just, you know, every high fantasy novel as well. I wonder if he even did work for Wheel of Time. I really wonder that. Because his, his style is something that looks like it should, that it belongs with Wheel of Time. And there's a lot of repeat pictures in here, too. That's kind of annoying. But it's his book. So, fun times. And we're almost done. Eh. What is good about Gary? I love his palette, love his style. There's Aegon the first. Damn shame he's dead. So sad. <sighs> Bummer. Fire and blood. Anxious to see this happen. Afterward, oh, well, my fucking hell. and we're done. That's it. So, those are all the book reviews for today. So, I'm gonna upload these and chill. So, till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.